Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today we're looking at the miniatures up close and personal of the Octarius set for Kill Team, the newest edition of Kill Team. We'll be looking at each one and how it looks once they're assembled. We'll also be looking at the extra pieces that you have after the assembly, and we will be looking at how uh, feasible magnetization is for these pieces. Before I get into the miniatures specifically though, I would you like you to know right off the bat that they are not push fit miniatures, they are fully customizable miniatures. There are at least three different in terms of uh, the death core and about two different in terms of the uh, commandos options for building. Which also means that you are we have a lot of extra pieces to use. One thing to note when you are assembling these death core of Krieg, uh, you will not be able to assemble all of these the way they are on the box. You can build all of these guys just as they are, or you could build all of them into Commando Boys. Commando Boys is the, like the troop choice, not a specialist type. They can all be either Commando Boys or they can all be the eight different types of orcs that you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are right? the eleven different types that you see. Um, or you can build them all into commando boys, except for the knob. The knob has uh, will remain a knob. He just has a couple different options for weapons. All right, now terrain. So we have barricades which actually play a role in the game. Uh, you put out barricades, at least from what I saw so far, you put out barricades as part of the setup. After you put out your regular terrain, you put up barricades. Uh, they are very cute little things. And they are very sturdy designed. Alright. And now, we have several pieces that would look exactly the same if you assembled them the same way, which is why I chose not to assemble them the same way. This is basically the way that it was asked me to assemble it. Look like if you follow the assembly guide, and it has a wonderfully complex, uh, wonderfully detailed design. Very much like it. Now I decided not to make an exact replica of that, and though I need to re-glue that, this piece, I altered it around a bit so that it would be like that. And there are also a couple pieces, a couple little pieces that look just like this. Uh, the design is basically the same, so I just altered a bit where they're pieces went. You can of course attach it as you like. Make it a little more spacious perhaps. Um, again they suggested that you put the attachments to these bars but I decided to put it to the more sturdier plate um, because they're orcs and they don't necessarily build everything like it should be so all right, uh, there's uh, this piece, which is actually just one piece right off the sprue. Didn't have to build it. It came just like that, so that was easy enough. Uh, same thing with this piece. Just comes complete right off the sprue. That's easy. And this piece, same thing. This one would be the most complex piece of the bunch. And I'll take off my hairband because it's definitely dry now. These two pieces are separate from this piece, which is separate from this piece, uh, which is separate from this platform. So you've got a bit of option if you want to adjust it around. You could easily do that. I just built it as they suggested, but you can easily change it up for sure. And this piece, 
which again is completely off the sprue just as is. Uh, here's another wall. Completely off the sprue just as is. Oh, so off the sprue that I didn't even notice I still have some sprue on it. Whoopsies! Glad I caught that before I started painting. Just matched. Yeah, some sprue to take off yet. Uh, we've got a couple bridges. Now go across your pieces. Just, just as is. Some bridge pieces. I like bridges. Uh, and then we've got these. Boop, 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 boop. So these are the two of the same. Uh, oh, here's the other one. Uh, this piece originally is supposed to have a wheel, which I didn't put on both of them so they'd be more different. There's a wheel I could put somewhere. I, I like that I could just put it anywhere, but it originally was supposed to go on this piece and on the other side was uh, a piece that had a canister, but I changed it up so that they were all different. <laughs> So this pillar was supposed to go on the opposite side, like that, but I didn't want to make it exactly the way it was, so I'm going to put that pillar in here instead. The last piece that again just came off the sprue just like that. So this is a great way to get into painting uh, terrain, and uh, assembling terrain, very straightforward. Love me assembling terrain. And this will be a great way to learn how to dry brush and how to use grit and grime and um, crackle paint and all the different various wear techniques. The orcs terrain is the way to do it, that's for sure. Now, let me just move this aside and actually see the other miniatures. All right, for the Krieg, these are among the best infantry units I've ever assembled. I've seen this level of precision before with the limited edition Catachan Colonel, um, if you've assembled that one, but these fellows are even more complex. Uh, the thought into where the seams are concealed by aspects of the model, and that actually goes for the orcs too, other than uh, some bums, but the Krieg are an, a, a level above the orcs. Uh, the amount of options for both of the kits is extreme. You can build unique guys in multitude over and over and over using the same kit. Uh, they really thought it out well. There are so many extra pieces, uh, like for the orcs. You could add this gun that has been added, or you could add some ammunition, uh, or you could add some grenades. Uh, these are fully designed pieces. You can add them or you can choose not to add them. The model is complete either way, but these are optional things that could change up the miniature um, to make it look different. The orcs themselves each have two head options, so that's 20 heads uh, among the orcs. And uh, there's extra backpacks because you uh, each variant has its own unique backpack. Uh, the Death Corps of Krieg don't necessarily have extra heads like the orcs do, but that makes sense because all the heads are exactly the same. Um, but the Death Corps of Krieg have so many different weapon options that are extra. But as you can see, the orcs, the orcs' heads are also not particular, other than the knob, but the orcs' heads uh, can be attached to any of the bodies. The backpacks can be attached to any of the bodies with ease. If you were going to go ahead and magnetize these pieces, um, the attachment of the arm is very straightforward. Uh, you can carve it out a bit or you can leave it like that and stick the magnet inside. I'd probably carve it out a bit, put a bit of putty in there just so that the magnet is touching the other magnet, but there's flat surfaces, fairly flat surfaces that you could easily um, carve out to add magnets. This guy. This guy is our Torcha, our Torcha fella, and his backpack, of course, is a canister for oil. Uh, you would be easily able to attach his two arms with uh, a magnet, just slide it on, and uh, at the same time, I guess slide down, at the same time slide on the backpack because it has an empty uh, area in the back, and the uh, orc itself has an empty air in the back, plenty of space to add 
um, a magnet by using um, putty rather than um, drilling in should be very straightforward to add. Uh, so magnet options are definitely there. Uh, these guys, the only, well, maybe other than this one, he's quite particular in how you assemble him, but the majority of them, the difference between a regular guy and a specialist, this would be one of the specialists, is that the regular guys are wielding um, a regular LAS gun. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, just a regular LAS gun with two hands, and this is what the piece looks like. Here's a, a two-handed LAS gun option. As you can see, it's just at the hand and at the shoulder a connection, so very small magnets would work there if you wanted to change them up, but really, I mean, uh, I'd s consider just getting more kits. When the kits eventually do come out, I do expect them to come out based on how customizable the, these guys are. I expect them to come out. Now, can you assemble them as per the box art? Um, the orcs, yes, they did it so that you could certainly assemble it just as the orc art, the, as the box art is. All 11 variants of orc, if you really wanted to go and make completely new specialists, you could do that. But uh, for these guys, you kind of have to pick and choose who your specialist is, which is completely fine because it doesn't seem like you need to have nine different specialists and what I think is possibly three trooper veterans. I'm very tempted, I won't, but I'm very tempted to like paint on a little assembly guide. That, that would be super fun. Um, I might have to bore holes into these guns though. For these guys, some of the pieces for the specialist is shared, so you have to pick and choose your pieces and be careful um, building it. If you want to build all of the specialists for some reason, you may have to grab pieces from other areas to, to build it. You can't follow this, the assembly guide and assume that you're going to be building what's on the box, but these guys you can. Um, I didn't because I didn't want to have 11 different specialists, 11 different data cards to go through. Uh, I did probably get carried away though. Uh, they, these, these models look so good and I really went with aesthetics more than anything. Okay, let's have a look. This guy is your orc knob as per the video. I had to do it as per the video. So uh, he's got the hat and he's got a power claw. He could have had this big ol' axe is his other weapon option and another head but I wanted him to look like this and he looks great. First I started all the specialists I chose to have the the specialist head that was suggested um, but for the commando boys I just went with the heads that I thought looked good. Still have lots of heads and each backpack is unique. There are no copies of backpacks and of course they look similar. They've got same components and whatnot but each one is unique. Every single backpack is unique. Every single head is unique. Even the doubles where they have like they have got 10 heads or they've got 20 heads all together. It's all unique. The arms fit on a particular way, but with a little bit of editing, a little bit of snip stip here or there, you would be able to fit them on whichever way you like. But they do want to go only on to go on only one way. And his head fit on perfectly. Here's my slasher guy. He's the one carrying the teeth. Uh, the dagger in his teeth. Oh yes, and uh, I think I already mentioned, but there are a whole bunch of knives and grenades and uh, little uh, pockets, and I didn't want to paint those, so I left them off. But if you wanted to, you could. A little shovel in the dirt. Oh, there's an extra head. Forgot. Some shovels hanging out. So many little extra doodads to make your guys unique. I'm so thrilled with this set. Various weapon options, of course. Extra backpacks, extra arms, extra hatchets. Just such a nice, such a nice well-rounded set. Uh, some more orc arms. Yeah, got a lot of orcs, ammunition and guns and, and various things. All right, let's see. We've got our 
don't remember who he is. He's the guy that bashes. He, he, if he can just go through traversable terrain as if it weren't there. Breach a boy, that's right. The backpack is completely interchangeable, so you can keep making unique guys no matter how many kits you have. You have enough to make lots of different unique combinations. This guy, I liked his. Uh, I kept him with his little wool hat on uh, because he's got a little, I think I'll nickname him the Lumberjack. I don't remember which variant of guy he is, but he's another specialist. I just enjoyed the looks of the specialist so much that uh, I made definitely more than I needed to. I already, already showed him off. He's great. I just love the style of the orcs. I love this a rocket boy. For obvious reasons. So awesome. Yeah, this one's our sniper boy. Had to try out the sniper boy. Don't know if the orc is going to be useful at all because I didn't even really. Oh, I think I missed a spot there. I didn't even um, pay that much attention to what they did. But it was like sniper boy. Got more shots? Cool, let's do it. Uh, okay, those are those. Let's have a quick look at my favorite little squig. Look at that guy. He's so fun. Oh my gosh. Look at his little tail. He's kicking up dirt because he's running so fast. Oh, he's sweet. Can't wait to use him. And this little grot, he's got two different head options. There was one that just looked strange, I don't remember what it is. I thought this was less strange of the two though. Uh, he's adorable. He's really useful for objective taking because he can harpoon off to different areas. That's cool. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful to you. If you had any questions regarding the models um, or kill team in general, anything really uh you can make certain to comment below and ask that there thank you for the smileys as always um and that is everything i hope you enjoyed like and subscribe hit that bell notification for the next video and i will catch you in the next one bye oh yes and i have if i haven't mentioned before this was uh russ gray so if you weren't familiar with the color russ gray this is what it looks like in practice